Peace, blessings, and wholeness, family. This video is gonna be about planting window time frames. <clears throat> Cause that's a word, right? No, but seriously, like you're planting window slash time frames uh, for garlic. Because coming from the Northeast, it used to get colder there a lot sooner. Like the last week of August, we could see our first frost. <clears throat> but that was getting pushed out to late October and even um, some spike ups in November. Seems to be the trend across the entire country if you live in the northern uh, states. I don't know too much about the southern states, but I could only imagine uh, they're warming as well. But what I wanted to say was that I planted garlic in numerous different months, different time frames, and I wanted to give kind of a little bit of insight on that and just what I've learned along the way, and maybe it could help you out for next year, or you haven't uh, planted your garlic yet this year, and you're trying to figure out, is it too late? Do I have enough time? That's gonna depend on your growing context, your growing zone. Right now I'm in zone 6A, I know those switched up a little bit, but I believe it's zone 6A. We could get anywhere down to zero to negative five at its coldest. I've heard like negative 10 in record years, uh, but it usually only gets down into like the 20s and teens. Now this is just what I've heard. Um, that's currently in Northern Nevada on the 38th parallel uh, longitude line where I come from in Vermont, it was zone 5A or 5B could get down to anywhere from negative 20 to negative 40 every winter. So garlic needs um, at least 40 nights below 40 to bulb up to a full head. Um, that's hard neck garlic. I know soft neck garlic does better in the warmer climates. I don't know how many days below what temp soft neck needs. Maybe it doesn't need any. Um, I have to do some more research on that, but I guess I'm just talking about hard neck garlic. I am talking about both because I also have grown soft neck and I've had success with that in the northern climate. Anyways, moving forward. <clears throat> when I lived in Vermont, I worked for a garlic farmer it's one of the ones who inspired me to take this path. I'm, have, I'm inspired by many mentors. But I worked for this farmer in Pulteney, Vermont, and he said he did an experiment where he planted garlic in August, October, August, September, October, and November. And he said that altogether, you really, he really saw no difference between the size of the actual garlic heads. The only difference is kind of the amount that they're able to grow up before they get winter killed back. So obviously if you plant it in August, you're gonna have a lot of regrowth before it gets pretty cold in November. So me being the younger, uh, well, it's good to experiment. Anyways, it doesn't really have much to do with my age. It does in a way. But a younger 21-year-old me was like, ah, he said that, but I wanna try it for myself. So I planted garlic in August, the third week of August, to be clear, because that's when we were right around, we start seeing our cold August nights in Southern Vermont and Planted some in September, October, November, and turns out he was right. You do really see no difference between uh, the size of your full head of garlic. But so the idea is the more established you can get the roots, the more exhilarating regrowth it's gonna have in the springtime. So, and I've also talked to an old timer farmer who I've got, who I'm growing some of his garlic. 
and he was like, yeah, one year it just got too far ahead of us and we had to poke holes in the ice through the ground in like the first week of December to get their garlic in the ground. So, but these past few years in Vermont, it wasn't like that. It was uh, warming soils for longer, taking longer and longer every year for that permafrost to set in. And last year it didn't even set in at all. So it's a lot hotter. It's a lot hotter out here for longer in Northern Nevada, but I'd be interested to do some experiments. If you could get away with the third week of August planting, you would just have to uh, keep it watered, obviously. But what I learned from all of that is because I also have planted in December uh, before I even learned that from that old timer farmer. And the, the most difference that you're going to see is if you plant after December, right? Because that's gonna give you the uh, least amount of chance of getting, like I said, in the zone 5A, you could get away with that because you're gonna get down to at least negative 10, but mostly negative 20 every other year, like negative 40. So you're definitely gonna get those 40 nights below 40. But out here, you might not wanna wait um, too late because it's warmer for longer. And I, we had gotten some 40 degree nights like in late August and through September and October. So it'll probably be better to get it in earlier um, out here. We'll see what happens. We went with the late October and now it's going to be uh, early November planting for the rest of it. So I have trust that all of the garlic will be fine. But I just kind of wanted to give some insight on what I've learned and the garlic planting time frame window. So just to recap, I'd say anywheres from the third week, this goes for zone 6A and above, so our colder northern climates. But I'd say you could plant anywhere from the third week of August all the way up until the end of November if the ground isn't frozen. But if you plant into December and January, uh, that's where I saw a real difference in just a smaller head of garlic, probably because it didn't get those 40 days under 40 like it needs. But the soft neck, I guess uh, that, that one's just been doing well for me uh, with, the, with the warming northern climate because soft neck's supposed to be for more southern states, but, and the variety that I got was just like some organic garlic from the grocery store. I don't know if it was just from the company from Orlando, Florida, or if it was literally grown in Orlando, Florida. But where it said it came from on the box was Orlando, Florida. So, which would make sense because it's a soft neck. Like I said, those do better in the southern states. But I've been growing this Orlando, Florida organic soft neck that I bought from the grocery store since 2022 now. Uh, so this will be my 2022, 23, third year planting that garlic. So it's probably gonna do really good out here because it's a lot uh, warmer out here. So yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions concerns, comments, ideas. Let me know about your experiences with planting garlic. Um, maybe you live in a southern state and have more experience with soft neck. You give us some insight on if it needs any amount of days. I'm gonna look that up and research that anyways. Yeah, let's just make a whole community about this thing and learn from each other. Um, and let me know, yeah, if you have any other things that you think I missed 
questions about the video, cool. I think I got it all. Peace, blessings, wholeness. See you on the next one. Garlic planting, time frame, window, video complete.